Now let's begin the show with the analysis of the Nigeria equities market at the close of Thursday's trading session. Now we see that the equities market closed yesterday on a positive note as industrial and medical gas IMG Nigeria PLC and Champion Breweries PLC led 25 other stocks to close the day's trading on the upswing. The market performance indices, the NGX or share index, appreciated by 1.06%, with the market breadth closing positive with 27 gainers against 11 losers. The upswing, according to the market watchers, was driven by bargain hunting activities on the back of undervalued stocks following renewed appetite in anticipation of share appreciation ahead of second quarter results. Consequently, the oil share index grew by 559.91 basis points, or 1.06% from 52,591.41 index points, and the previous data hit 53,151.32 points, while the market capitalization of equities appreciated by 302 billion naira to close at 28.6 trillion naira from 28,000 or rather 28.3 trillion naira. On the activity charts, the banking subsector dominated in volume terms with 66.3 million shares exchanged in 822 deals. The subsector was enhanced by the activities in the shares of GTCO PLC and ETI PLC. Premium subsector boosted by the activities in the shares of Access Holding PLC and First Bank of Nigeria Holdings PLC followed with 61.5 million units traded in 1,763 deals. In all, investors exchanged a total of 266.18 million shares, exchanged in 5.501 deals. Now let's bring in Ambrose Amodio, Chief Research Officer at Invest Data Consultant Limited to help us better understand what happened in the market yesterday. Thank you for joining us, Ambrose. Thanks for having me. Good to have you. Now, seeing uh, what happened in the market yesterday, we saw trading in the local bars sustain, sustaining its uh, positive momentum from yesterday. Uh, and then we saw the all share index advancing by 1.1% to 53,151.32 basis point as the month's date and year to date returns increased to 7.1% uh, and also 24.4% respectively. What do you suppose is responsible for this move? Yeah, actually, yesterday it was uh, a market uh, of uh, uh, increased uh, buying sentiment and uh, investors they aligning their portfolio. After the market has uh, suffered a uh, pullback for profit taking and the uh, panic sell off in reaction to uh, you know interest hikes by you know monetary policy. Now that uh, investors are seen that uh, the market still have uh, opportunity for them to make money, when they saw the pullback, now become opportunity for them to realign their portfolio ahead of what the end of the month and the same time end of the quarter. Mm. And this is not surprise because market for what is for three straight days and before it abandoned the previous day and so it was sustained that thing yesterday. And if you look at the market break, the market break was positive and also a good buying sentiment. So yesterday market had about uh, you know ninety eight buying sentiment and those two percent fair position. Mm. That investors or traders are taking advantage of. Also, we expected uh, no results for this company for so their Q2 that uh, ahead. We need to position you know, by now, knowing that uh, the 13 percent uh, NPR yes was triggered from flowing away from the equity space. But designing investors that understand how to use the equity to edge against inflation, despite the the high in rate, are taking position in those stocks that have what we call a uh, Commodity back, uh, no instrument. Okay. That is what they are doing, and that is why the market was up. Mm. And don't forget, I said it in previous uh, no interview that this is time to do what we call a was full of rotation. No, you go to that companies or sectors that you know that it, you know, that it, it has all it takes to grow their earnings that will support their price going to the future. Who just going to support their war, uh, support their dividend payouts? And that is why investors are now realigning their portfolio in that direction. Mm -hmm. So what happened in the price of MTN yet today and other industrial groups what go say that an an banking stock. For me, knowing that the banking or the financial sector could benefit more from this uh, rate hike, investors are already positioning ahead of uh, that expectation. That is why so banking sector led in industrial performance yesterday.
Mm. So looking at the stock she just talked about, for instance, MTN Nigeria, which of course went up by 4.4%, help us to understand the opportunities that are in these stocks, especially for investors. No, for MTN Nigeria, I would tell you that the call that Ito will call a, a social service, you know, the, the, the demand for airtime for call, and also now that with the advent of, uh, you know, this uh, sit at home, to work from home, technology, online, you see that if you look at the results of these companies, MTN and Tete, you can see market change they are making what in data usage, not only for call again. They, they, their market is being uh, kind of uh, you know, expanding. And don't forget that also MTN has given us what things that are going to also impact their cash flow at the end of the day. Mm. We saw that uh, the recipient of approved their, their banking uh, you know, kind of uh, payment uh, platform. At the same time, they are trying to be on, on board as, as of August. All these award investors are think that it's going to impact the bottom line of this company. And because it is so true service that whether you have money or not that you are rich or poor, you need your service. That is why investors should identify such companies, especially if you are using any core core MTN line and you don't have MTN share, I think you're not doing yourself a uh, favor. You need to also don't have a share of MTN. So you can also partake in other people calling at the end of the day, either it's a dividend or capital appreciation. For me, MTN and ETH are stock to be in our portfolio. One, they are differences in nature. An MTN to the banking stock and also a good stock. For me, mm. MTN has potential to go higher. They said I said that around the, you know, 240, it touched as high as 270 before pulling back. This stock has potential to touch 400, 500 before the end of the year. So, if any investor that are thinking long and medium, you also look the way of MTN. Mm. Interesting. I think uh, we should take your advice and get some stocks in MTN and uh, Airtel. But let's also look at stocks like Transcorp, uh, where it was uh, the most traded stock by volume at 47.6 million units. And MTN was the most traded stock by value at 1.8 billion naira. Uh, help us better understand the sentiments behind the stocks. MTN, for me, sorry, Transcorp for me is a stock that, uh, no, for, uh, for, Long term investor, be one of the new cap stuff that have been consistent in terms of you know, doing their earnings. Yes, their payback might not be might not be attractive at this point now. So we believe that we have all it takes to pay higher dividends if things get better you known to the future. One, they are into what we call the commodity uh, utility utility uh, service that don't that whether you like it or not, you demand you need their service instead of uh, electricity. For me, uh, and also they are also into oil related business again. Oil mm. price already above uh, hundred uh, dollar. I see that that company you know has to, to make money, and that is why if you look at the first quarter of the release, it was impressive. And when you see a company earnings looking up, volume looking up, price looking up, you think that something is happening in that in that talk. Mm. And if you look at Nigeria's market, no day you don't see Transco among the top there, uh, top in terms of volume. It says that people are going, and that is cheap, tradable stock that you can go in and come out. Because it was delayed, and that's why traders love to trade the stock. Mm. Okay, what about the performance across sectors, which we saw that was uh, broadly positive? Uh, we saw the banking sector jumping 1.2%, and the consumer goods up, up by 0.9%, uh, insurance up by 0.4%, industrial goods up by 0.4% also. And then we see all of these stocks closing in the green, while the oil and gas uh, index declined by 0.3%. Which of these sectors should we look at in the interim? For me, the, the banking sector is a sector that you know most of the stock there are undervalued, and at the same time, because of this rate hike, we automatically we saw what happened uh, during the week that uh, the first uh, no TV, the first uh, you know trade TV offer was uh, was done around the six point uh, no four nine mm. against the previous one of uh, four point uh, no seven four. Says that there's already, you know, in terms of uh, premium, in terms of uh, TV. I know that these banks they have money to play more in in a in a, a treasury bill uh, market, and all that uh, risk has increased as far as uh, you know a, a hike in uh, NPR. Mm -hmm. For me, the banking sector is where they look at this time because they benefit more from the rate hike, and I will see improve uh, interest uh, margin for these banks. For me, the bank will be a place investors that are thinking long term. They also should start building because going to the future, I'm going to see a better number. Coming from the bank because their net income per margin will improve and that their net interest margin will improve at the end of the day. That is good for the market sector. Yes. Mm. Okay, talk to us about uh, what direction you expect the market to take today. For me, I think the market, uh, the market was up for two days. It's likely to maintain that uh, momentum because 
market yesterday, I started there, another new trend. We need a new trend for the market breakout day to trade market again. That is a new trend, but we want to see to confirm right to sustain today. Mm. If it is to sustain today, that means market starting another you know, wave. And that wave will be a positive wave for the market because they are corrected again to and not continue again. I do say that when market pull back, they have much opportunity and open. We saw the pullback as a result of profit taking and panic selling as a result of no reaction to interest rate, interest hike. Mm. But now we are seeing a progress for two days. If it is sustained today, that means the market is, you know, is on another uh, uptrend, a mark of risk. Let's see what happens in the most high period that so for the week, I said the market will be a mixed market, which we have seen so far. But for today, I said the market will maintain that uh, direction of uh, this trend. Yeah. The bullish trend. But before you go, let's talk about uh, the loss of uh, that's the UAC Nigeria, which went down by 9.69% to close at 1 Naira 32 cover. What do you think is responsible for that loss? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, w what do you expect or what should investors, how should they position themselves looking at this trend? Today, today, today is the last of the week. We're the market. Uh, no, to find the direction by seeing what the buyers and sellers will do because market has been for like almost two days. We saw an uptrend for two days. This is the last end of the day. I think uh, to see where the price of demand and supply is having on the market to go. But I believe that market should maintain the trend. Since they are showing a sign of uh, a new trend yesterday, let's see whether it will be you no know, sustain today. That is why we need to confirm where the market will go in. Totally, we maintain the uptrend that we saw yesterday mm. and the previous day. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for the robust analysis, uh, Ambrose Amodio, Chief Research Officer at Invest Data Limited. Thank you for your time on Business Breakfast. Yeah. All right, have a good day now.